Hi, welcome back. I hope it's okay with you if we just jump right in where we left off in the last beginner's video, which is we were doing fifths against thirds, and we were doing rocked up with the left hand, rocked down with the right hand. Here's an F against an F, F, F. We were doing a little chord progression with the right hand, keeping the left hand anchored. Try that. Let's do it on an A minor fifth against a third. So, and you can do it. So change the rhythm of it. So I'm doing really fast there and really fast there. First try just doing one hand fast. I'm going to do A third, B third, C third. So. Now try doing the left hand fast. Now try doing all of those four counts quickly. One, two, three, four. So. One, two, three, four. And you can do that on the same area until you get that nice smooth sound. Now I'll do it on that little progression, but the A doesn't move, so you've got that anchored. What about rocking up with the fifth and blocking the third? I'm going to start at F. And it sounds wholesome like a Bambi movie. Try that again. Try that on a C. Try it on a D. You hear the minor sound. And what about mixing types? Like I'm gonna do, stay anchored on a G fifth, going up, rocking up. But with my right hand, I'm gonna start with a G third, rocking up, go up one step to an A, rocking up, and then I'm gonna block. So, because when you're improvising, you mix things up. So up, 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 up.
Try that on a D for the minor sound, D against D. Try it on an F. And now a C. Up, 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 up. Locked. Now another one that might take a little bit of practice if you're a beginner is rolled. Stack them so I've got a C here, and stacked on top of it is a C third, C fifth, C third, and to roll them. Now, you already worked on making this fast the third finger and the first finger doing them fast, and with the right hand, I think we worked on it fast going down, but now work on it fast going up. It's almost a snap. And don't be in a hurry to get back to the strings. Just focus on that. Now, slowly combine them so that all four go in a row. One, two, three, four. Now speed it up a little bit. Now speed it up a little bit more. Beautiful. Now you could do a chord progression of it rolled if you're ready. I just did stacked C, stacked A, rolled and stack G rolled. If you're not ready for rolling, just block them. Back. Now we're gonna start echoing it. Fifth against third, these are stacked. That's really different from doing the left hand by itself and then the right hand by itself, call and response. Also beautiful. Because you're doing left, right, left, right. So we're going to do that now. So just refresh yourself again on a C third of going downward and try that a few times. And then refresh yourself on the C fifth, coming up, do that a few times. Now C fifth and a C third stacked on it. Now place on those and then just do your third finger, the C of the left hand and the first finger the thumb, which is an E of your right hand. Keep the others on the strings. So it's going to sound like left, right, left, right. Now I'll try doing the whole thing. Left, right, left, right. Now do it just a little bit faster. Left, right, left, right. Now keeping the C anchored, let the right hand do this, and then come up one, and then back to the C, third, and then down one. But echo everything. So you're going to go... place, a place, and 
hands are stacked. Let's do it in sister's position. We'll do C against C. So C fifth, C third, and instead of call and response, instead you're going to echo, but you're going to do it slowly. So that's how you start. You place each and just do, that's how I always start learning something. Now place and see if you can do the whole thing. Left, right, left, right. Now when you get used to that, do it a few times. You can do it a little bit faster. Whoops. <laughs> Now do a little chord progression with the right hand. Keep the left hand anchored on a C. This is the pattern you just learned, but with a different rhythm. Now, I'll basically improvise here, but these are all techniques you've learned in this video. I hope you're having fun with this, and there's a lot more fun stuff you can do with this simple hand pattern that's pretty easy to form in your hand. So there'll be more.